Good morning, good morning. What's up, my people? It is a beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's your boy, the D to the T to the F. Y'all know it is, drop top food. Um, but it's not my neighborhood. As you can see, there's a little difference in the background. That's right, I am in Arkansas. Came down this weekend, of course, for Mother's Day. I hope all of y'all are having a wonderful, wonderful, uh, I hope y'all have a wonderful Mother's Day and all that good stuff. Shout out to all the mothers out there. I know most people that probably would view this would probably be guys, maybe some girls like watching drop tops and Jeep gladiators and whatnot. But um, yeah, I mean, shout out to everybody. So I'm making this video right now, you know, you probably seen the thumbnail because this is my first time really putting the gladiator to the test on the highway. <clears throat> and so how do I think it done? My bad, I'm blocking the camera a little bit right there. It actually did pretty dang good. I am continuously impressed by this vehicle. It really does what they say it do. Um, even at probably an average of around 82 miles per hour, it stayed in that range of 21 miles per gallon, uh, 20 to 21 and everything. But I will say uh, the best miles per gallon probably came if you stayed around 75, then it gets you around 24, 25 miles per gallon. So it did good. Uh, the road noise was not bad, even with my, you know, the new exhaust I have, you know, I could hear it when I take off. My wife finally got to really hear it for the first time good on the road. Uh, that was, nice and everything um it performed well i did kind of feel you remember my, in my last few videos i said that um i didn't really feel what people were saying about the steering being loose kind of on the highway and it may have been due to wind was pretty bad on the way up here that uh i felt a little bit of swaying or whatever you know like a little harder to keep it in the middle but other than that, like I said, we were able to have normal conversation, listening to the music fine. So the cabin noise was not bad. Um, I mean, coming from my Ram where I could fill it up one time and get me, this dog just wants to say hi to everybody. We ain't dumb enough. But anyway, um, I could fill it up and get me 520 miles to the gallon or something like that. That's not the case, of course, with the gladiator because it don't have a uh, 30 gallon tank or whatever like the ram did but it does get you around 360 i probably really got about 350 out of that um so you know i had to top it off a little bit before i got here which wasn't bad i mean especially with gas prices right now i can't complain about how it did on the road um so yeah i mean if anybody's thinking about a Gladiator and worrying about some of these things, I still would recommend it. I'm enjoying it. My mom enjoyed it. I took her for a little ride yesterday. I took the front front part of the top off because, you know, it, the weather was kind of cool, around 64 degrees or something like that, 65. Today it feels a little warmer. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video letting y'all know how it done. I did just flip. To 2,000 miles after this trip because when I made the last video, I probably was around almost 1,500 miles when I did the 1,000 mile review. So I had net almost 500 miles coming down here. I did flip it and I guess heading back to Atlanta, I'd probably be about 2,500 when I get home. So yeah, getting some good, getting some good use out of the Gladiator right now. So uh, anyway, just wanted to touch bases with y'all. Um, you know, look at the blue mamba. Like I said, did good. All right, y'all.